All right, welcome everybody to Cabela's Dangerous Hunts. This will be my next Let's Play series. I'm gonna try this game. I know I'm gonna have to do some fancy editing just for the simple fact that uh, I'm gonna do a career hunt. I'm gonna go all the way through it. Uh, some hunts are very short. Some of them take a pretty long time. I'd like to have some consistency in my videos as I, as I upload them, so I might try to pack in a couple of short hunts uh, with a longer hunt or well, I'll make it work somewhere or another I'll make it work all right so we need to create a profile all right we okay we can edit the name I'll go ahead and use my given name okay difficulty I'm going to do it on easy and the reason why is because I need these videos to go relatively smooth I just don't have the time to uh, to play it on medium or hard um, I've played it on medium and hard before and the elements to the game that make the, that make it more challenging they just in my opinion they just don't really add to the fun of the game now that's, that's just my opinion you guys may like it and you know, whenever you play it, you know, by all means, do it on medium or hard. But, I'll tell you this, even even with the game on easy, the game's hard enough as it is. If you ramp up the difficulty, all that means is there, you're more likely to die, or you're more likely to fail, which means you'll have to start the entire thing all over again, and that's just something that I've got to limit in this, in this LP. So, I'll be doing it on easy. Uh, character... Uh, well, yeah, we'll go with the adult male. Um, appearance is okay. Edit attributes. Alright. What you want to do from the very, well, in my opinion, what you want to do from the very beginning is let's set strength at 70, that'd be good enough. Resilience, 70, that'd be good enough. You want to put your shooting at 100 from the very beginning. And the reason why is having your shooting at 100 from the very beginning that prevents your gun from swaying whenever you zoom in to to uh, get a closer look at your game your gun won't sway at all if you put it at 90 it sways just enough to where sometimes you just can't get a good shot and shooting is an attribute that uh, can be built upon I mean if you want to put it at 90 and then get more and more accurate. Eventually, it'll get to a hundred. But I'd rather just—I'd rather not do that. I'd rather get it to a hundred from the very beginning. It make it a lot easier. Uh, stealth. We do want stealth, so let's use the rest of those, uh, and we'll do it like that. Tracking. I'm not even worried about that at all, because the way I'm going to play it is uh, there's a blip on the in the uh, action zone, so to speak, and you're just going to want to head that way. You don't have to worry about tracking. Uh, it's something I've just never really used. And I would put tracking all the way down to zero and then use the rest of these attributes on on strength, maybe, and stealth. But I just don't want the game to do something goofy. So I'm going to leave it at 40. But this would be fine right here. Most importantly, shooting. Uh, strength, that's something that will increase, I believe, over time. Stealth will increase as well. All right. So we're good to go. Let's get it going. Okay, what happened? Okay, all right, we're good. Okay. So. Okay. So we've got challenges, which is what we, what you want to do. You want to make it through all the challenges. Um, there are certain qualifications that have to be satisfied before you can enter certain challenges. And I know in at least two challenges, you'll, you're going to end up having to charter a hunt and try to take down a different animal uh, in order to satisfy the qualif or the the prerequisite to do the challenge but in the very beginning I don't think the prereqs are all that hard so we'll be alright for a while 
There's your hunting guide if you want to go through it. Hunting records. There's your load save options. Um, these controls are going to be okay for now, or for me. Uh, if you want to switch them up, you can. Excuse me. Sensitivity, that may be something I might change after I actually get into the action again. It's been a while since I've... Well, it hadn't been too long since I played this, but long enough to where... You know, nothing's really fresh on my mind, so. Uh, we do want the HUD on, the trophy beacon, yes. Auto claim, I'm going to leave that off for now. That's not a big deal. If you turn it on, all that means is as soon as you've killed your game, it'll automatically claim it for you. But I would at least rather shoot it and then my, wait, make my way to it to claim it. Uh, the rest of these, I'll leave them on. I won't mess with that. Uh, let's see. Alright, I think we're ready to roll. Let's see what challenge we got here. And you can skip seasons, and it doesn't, you know, age you or anything to go through the seasons. You can just, just skip them as you need to. The only thing we can do right here in the summer is uh, take one Kodak bear, brown bear, from within 50 yards. So... Since we're going to be taking them out up close, we'll probably just use a shotgun on this one. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this one. Hmm, I don't know what's going on out there. Hold on just a minute. A fire truck and an ambulance went by my house. Turn down the street. Parked up, parked up about a block. Hope everything, hope everything's okay. All right, so we need some equipment. We're gonna be close range, so might as well just use a shotgun on this first one. Um, but what you're probably gonna want to use is um, all right. Uh, you got a semi-automatic seven millimeter. Lever action. I don't really like. I don't like the bolt actions in this game because they take too long to. Uh, there's too much of a delay between the shot and the next shot, which uh, any hunter will tell you that. <laughs> the semi-automatic. That's that's probably going to be the the uh, one that I use, even though it's heavy. Um, lever action, again, it's not as slow as a bolt action, but probably won't use it. Even though I love 30 out 6s one of my favorite deer rifles. That's a bolt action, that's a lever action, bolt action, bolt action, bolt action. As far as shotguns go, I don't fool with the pumps. Just go ahead and use the gas-loaded Magnum shotgun. It's an automatic. Uh, speed is what you want to go for. Uh, you lose a little bit of uh, mobility because of the weight, but it doesn't really matter, in my opinion. It's very minimal. When you when you have to use a bow, if it will let you, try to use the crossbow. Um, the other bows, they uh, they're okay. The compound bows are right. I've never used the recurve. Compound bow's okay. Um, it's just, uh, well, you'll kind of see what I mean once we have to start doing bow hunting missions. You have to get in really close, and they're relatively difficult to aim. Uh, if you can get away with using the crossbow, use it. So let's get us a, let's get the 10 gauge. And I think... Optics. I don't really think we need optics in this in this one. Um, when we do have optics, we'll use this one. Uh, these are a little bit more powerful, but the problem is they're adjustable. You don't really have time to be adjusting your op your your uh, scope. You know, you like I say, you want to go for speed. Uh, this one right here is just a straight. 
6x max magnification scope that's the most powerful one without having to adjust it that's the one you're going to want to use if you're going with a shotgun obviously you don't need a scope for your shotgun um, and you need uh, you know something to well if you I'll say this if you'd like to have something that will zoom in use this spotting scope here um, these are okay too but this one would well, let's see. This one would probably be okay, I believe. I think that's the one I use, but I don't... Like, even now, anything close range like this, um, I wouldn't worry about having an optic. Okay. Defense. Uh, we're not going to need any defense for this. The shotgun will be enough, and we'll have plenty of bullets for it. Ammo... Yeah, the only thing you can get for rifles, you can choose a higher grain. Like for, let's see, let's look at 30 out sixes real quick, or even the seven millimeters that we're going to be using. 160 grain. They are. Um, they're not. I wouldn't say. Well, in real life, I wouldn't say they're necessarily for smaller game. They're just a faster shooting bullet. Um, Something like this uh, might not quite have as much velocity, but it's going to pack more of a wallop. So I guess, yeah, you could say these are for small, these are for smaller game, and these are for bigger game. But when we get ready to uh, start using a rifle, I'm probably just going to be using the 160 grain because that'll be plenty. You're going to want to go for headshots on pretty much every shot that you make anyway. So uh, in a headshot, those will. Those are clean kills. They'll take them out in one shot. Uh, as far as shotgun ammo, all you have is just your your 10 gauge slugs and your 12 gauge. And 20, I think that'll be enough. We won't need any more than that. So we're good there. Clothing. We are. Let's see. This was summertime, wasn't it? Let's see. All right, let's. Let's buy what we have. Yeah, this was summertime. So we want something light. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with the light camo. Um, in the fall, you might want to use one of these. If you're in an area where it's not you know, as far north, you could either go with the light or the medium. The heavy, I don't think I'd probably ever use it. And I have noticed that in, in the winter time, when there is snow on the ground, using this one right here, even though it's the heaviest one, it does help out. But for now, we'll go with the light gear. Uh, equipment. Let's see what we got. All right, we don't need that. We don't need uh, antlers or the grunt call. We don't need the bleak call, elk call, moose call, the predator call. We could take it with us if we want to. I think it will call a bear. Um. But we don't necessarily need to call the bear up to us, and it's just something else to weigh us down. So let's skip that for now. Cover scent. I do usually carry this with me, and it just kind of helps out with your uh, stealth. If you don't have, uh, if you're starting off like at, my stealth is at 70 right now, cover scent will help out a little bit. Um, you can use some of this other stuff if you want to, but. I mean, we're playing it on easy. You don't necessarily need this stuff. You know, these decoys, you don't need them. Feeder, you don't need. Uh, you don't need that. Um, I have used, uh, not the tree stand. I've used the tripod before. I don't really, I mean, the problem is if you're hunting an animal that will attack you, by the time it sees you, the game is going to calculate that you're being attacked. So it's going to say uh, you can't put up a tripod while you're being attacked. And uh, if you put it up in uh, far enough range to where you're not being attacked, sometimes uh, using your call or whatever, well, you're just kind of at the mercy of uh, whether, whether your call is going to bring the animal to you or if the animal is just going to wander your way. So I wouldn't worry about tripods or blinds, tents. Don't worry about that. If you're playing on normal or hard, I think your condition, your hunger, 
uh, those kind of elements will go down a little bit faster. You might use these just to kind of replenish. Uh, there's a medical kit if you get attacked. Uh, and finally, the map and the GPS. I've kind of found the GPS to be a little bit confusing, even though it's probably technically the better of the two. If you're in an area that's pretty big, uh, there's going to be a couple missions where we're going to want to find the lost hunter. Be a good idea to take a map. Maps are easier to read. So, all we'll do for now is we'll just do the cover scent. And you do want to try to apply it for fairly regularly. You know, walk a little bit, reapply it, walk a little bit, reapply. So, we will buy this. And we're ready to roll. Let's do it. Okay, this is the preview cam. Shows where we are. It's going to show some of the other animals in the area, which <laughs> I assume that was a probably a wolf. And there's another wolf. And we got a moose. Okay, well the first one was the bear then. Alright, you click down on the right thumbstick to bring up your your main weapon. If I had a secondary weapon, I'd click down on the left thumbstick to bring it up. And let's go hunting. Uh, let me see if I can find... Alright, see that little blip? That is that is what we're heading towards. That's the bear. And along the way... Um, we're likely to be attacked by a wolf or because uh, there's two wolves in the area or we're likely to be attacked by a moose. Um, on easy it usually won't take just a whole whole lot of damage from you. As, I mean you might get bit once or twice but uh, if an animal attacks you you can defend yourself and you can you know you can shoot it out of season as long as you're defending yourself. Moose's attacks sometimes but you want to be you want to be pretty careful if you try to shoot a moose. Make sure that he is attacking you, because uh, sometimes shooting a moose when he hasn't actually shown aggression towards you, the game warden will get you for that. Yeah, now I kind of wish I'd have brought that spotting scope because I think I can see a something over there. Oh well. Yeah, this sensitivity is a little too high. I think I'm going to have to turn it down. Let's turn it down a little bit. Yeah, it's a little better. So you got your, in the bottom left, you've got your, um, shows your heart rate. Um, when you're being attacked, your heart rate rate will, will raise. Um, the uh, yellow bar, I believe, is your, uh, oh, it's like your current stamina. Once it goes down, I think you might have to rest and wait for it to go back up. Um, let's see. And I may be going the wrong way. And just try to make your way around to the bear. If a bear attacks you, even in easy, uh, you want to. <laughs> you want Well, you definitely want to kill him before he attacks you. Because a bear will do a lot more damage than just a wolf. And visibility in this game is not really very good. Um, okay, there's a bridge. Let's go across. Chances are, if one of these wolves find us, he's just gonna. <laughs> we're not gonna know he's coming until until he's already attacked us. But just one attack from a wolf isn't the end of the world. You can take him out. No panic, so to speak. Okay. 
you get close enough, you'll see that blip disappear. And that's when you know you're pretty close and you want to be careful not to spook him. Uh, let me see. Alright. Yeah, he's coming for us. He sees us. Oh, I missed. Darn it. Alright, got him. Yeah, he was after that moose. Alright, claim him, and we're done. Well done. You have completed the challenge. Alright, cool deal. Get your nerves up. See that bear coming for you? It's almost like real life. <laughs> yeah, I saw that moose over to the right. That bear was actually chasing that moose, I believe. So let's save it. Okay, our stealth went up a little bit. Alright. Uh, I'm at 25 minutes. I think what I'll go ahead and do, I think I'll cut it here. And when we pick it up next time, we will... Let's see what we've got next. Alright, take one moose. And the rest of these are locked for now. Alright, with a moose, it's a good idea to use a rifle with a moose because if you can take them out from a distance, it's better. So, we will probably do that one next unless I decide to uh, skip a season. Alright, I'll go ahead and cut it here. Appreciate everybody watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.